One of the current research projects at UQ is a study on how we can create more fish-friendly waterway guidelines, specifically for culverts in Australia, for native fish species. A culvert is a structure that allows flood water to flow under a road or any embankment from one side to another. Culverts are designed in many different shapes and sizes depending on the head and tail water depth, erosion, fan curvature, energy loss, stream width, peak flows, stream gradient, and minimum cost. Waterway culverts installed beneath road embankments are very common in Australia. All freshwater fish require an impended waterway connectivity as barriers to movement can lead to population fragmentation and decline. Current designs of culverts have contributed to population declines in native fish species in Australia as national guidelines of fish passage requirements for water crossings are based on mostly data from European fish species. This was because of the limited data and lack of physical understanding of the Australian fish species. Common issues for fish swimming through culverts included excessive water velocity and turbulence, shallow flow depths, excessive vertical drop and blockage from debris. A hydrodynamic investigation focusing on how turbulence and fish interplay is taking place at UQ involving both civil engineers and biologists. Native Australian juvenile silver patch and dobilis rainbow fish were selected to be tested in near full-scale conditions. Experiments were conducted in a 12 by 0.5 flume. The three configurations tested were to be smooth boundaries, rough boundaries and triangular corner baffles at intervals. The first step was to characterize the steady flow conditions for each of the configurations which included taking the free surface height and velocity measurements. Next, detailed velocity measurements were needed. The first instrument used was a prontal pitted tube which gives two readings, total head and pressure head. The next instrument used was an acoustic Doppler velocimeter. Using the data collected from both the detailed velocity measurements and the free surface measurements, we are able to construct velocity profiles and velocity contour plots. These results are then compared to previous results to find similarities in the conditions which fish preferred to swim. It was observed that fish prefer to swim in between the corners and sidewalls as there are areas of higher turbulence as there is lower velocity. The fish would often swim in the combination of the two patterns. A cruising pattern in which the fish will conserve and recover energy by swimming in one spot and a sprinting pattern where the fish swam upstream. Fish swam through rough boundaries and triangular corner buffle configurations with relatively less effort than smooth boundary due to higher turbulence and lower velocity. The triangular corner buffles created pockets with high turbulence and low velocity at intervals where the fish will rest. Whereas the rubber mat used as a rough boundary conditions will distribute the turbulence evenly along the flume.